What is up YouTube land? Back in the garage. Coop's hiding back there. It's on pause. Got a couple things coming. Got a new project, which I won't show you until it's here. Cause this is not a new project. This is, well it is a project, it's just not mine. So this is a late 31 pickup cab that we gotta do some rust repair on. So I'll bring you along for that. I'll show you what it needs. Hey, there was a bunch of holes poked in this cab that did not belong. To fix those, typical cracks here on the firewall, normal. Another one up here. Got a few holes to fill in the cowl. Also the bottom on both sides. Got a crack here. I don't know if you can see that. Crack there. Crack here. Bring that together. Same on the other side. Then we got the cab corners. There's a big crack down there. And the bottom's rusted off. Same with the back. The whole bottom needs to be replaced. A crack here in the body line. This is normal for coupes. I have, it's the first time I've seen it on a pickup, but I'm sure it's common there too. That's about it. Other than that though, from there up on this body is really clean. Really no issues. So I'm gonna start doing that and bring you along. Now the fun thing about these late 31s, you can tell by this teardrop in the firewall. Only late 31 has that. And for the pickups, first year to have a steel roof. And this visor is molded in. It's come factory. So these cabs are pretty cool. I did the doors previously. I didn't make a video, but I did the bottom of the doors. Now he brought me the cab. In here I pulled these two together because this crack was right here and it opened up I pulled it together have a tack here and I want a little piece here this crack this corner piece here was pulled out and over that rivet so I just kind of you saw me just hammer it in underneath it so now I can weld that piece and the rest of this crack and this side will be done and just need to repeat the process on the back side there. Alright, so I got those cracks welded up. Seat pan is now one piece again. Now I'm going to tackle this crack here.
next up is this crack here. And you get some vice grips on it. And flat it out first off, so let's get to that. As you can see, I got this crack back to where it should be. All smooth, in place. Now I'm just going to weld that seam up. And that one's done. And we move to the big kahuna crack. Got this all welded up too. I think I forgot to press record while I was welding, but. copper backing and I'm just gonna fill it with weld same thing on this side I mean on this hole this hole and maybe not that hole because I don't think I can get that I don't have a piece of round So I got those holes all plugged up. Need to get a compressor and then I'll do a DA on that. This, I think I'm leaving those there because that is prone to cracking and I want to keep as much weld there as possible. Same with this one. It's a TIG weld so it's not very proud. I just kind of smoothed out the top here. That's the part you'll see. And uh, yeah, so now started filing this. Let me file this away so it's so you can't tell it was there or you can't tell it was fixed. So let me get filing on that, and then it's pretty much big areas. The bottom and both sides of the bottom of the cowl. All right, get this crack welded and filed off. Firewall all done. Oh, forgot a couple of holes. All right, these are the last two I gotta do. forward and move back. So I'm going to do the cowls first. Get these patches here. So this is the way they come. Patch here. I'll show you on the other side. See that little hole lines up with this one right there. Boom. Looks easy. Look at the crack in there. Look at how it, the shape doesn't match this at all on the bottom. So they give you a dead straight piece for a panel that's got a ton of shape in it. It's got shape this way. It's got shape this way. It even changes this radius. It comes over here. 
it's almost an inner curve and this one's an outer curve so it switches from an outer curve to an inner curve and an outer curve this way so you end up with something that looks funky like this right there so I scribed the line you can see the top of that since I'm not taking this cow fully apart like I'm not taking these braces out I'm not gonna cut right here because I, I won't be able to access the backside so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna use this whole patch and cut up here so I can the cut line is gonna be here instead of behind this brace here so if it was behind that brace I'd have no way of getting to the back side of it, and it just it would not end well. We got this patch, Clico together. I had nowhere to put a Clico here. But I'll just hold that where it needs to be, give it a tack. Same thing with over there. Top's pretty good. The side, is that right? I don't know why that's not holding it flat, but I can always can figure something out. in all smooth since attack and since it's tacked here it's a little shrunken in so there's like a, a dip here but once I fully weld this I'll hammer and dolly that weld line and it'll stretch it back out and it should meet back up to where it belongs just have to mess with this bottom bead here it doesn't really see right there it doesn't quite match up with the old one this side did pretty good so i thought this one was the same but i was wrong right now i think my game plan for this truck is to have everything tacked in like this I tack that in like that, do the same here, and then do the same around back. Everything tacked in and hammer dolly flat, and uh, then I'll come back and just weld everything. I think that'll give me uh, more motivation to finish it quick. Say hi, Hank. Okay, get this side tacked in place. Notice I do, oh, notice I do radiuses on the edges now. A little big gap, don't worry about that. But uh, I find that when I put a radius instead of a corner, it doesn't blow that corner out. It's just, like you're welding on a straight. So, it's working out better to do those. You know, I learn something every day. Okay, that's it for, uh, that's it for this video. 
Join me next time while I do the cab corners and the rear panel. And hopefully finish this truck up. Hopefully get it done in two videos. Thanks guys. All right, thank you guys for watching the videos. Uh, if you would please subscribe, like, I'd really like to grow this channel. Uh, this is what I love to do. So if you would support me doing that, I'd really appreciate it. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, and watch. Thanks.